hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first visit to my channel my name is Oloa Kemi from Lagos Nigeria guys um, this is a very beautiful lovely tote bag I'll be showing you guys the making of this bag how I derived to this beautiful and lovely bag I'll be showing you everything step by step and you guys will enjoy this tutorial trust me guys please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like share don't forget to on your notification button to get notified whenever I drop an interesting video thank you guys and God bless you guys this is the um, pattern that I'm gonna be working with so um, this is the pattern I'll be working with. This is the bottom and this is the main um, body of the bag. So I'm just going to take the measurement so you guys can see. Um, so um, the width of the width of the bag is 20. 20 inches it's gonna be 20 inches for the weight while the length is um is 12 the length is 12 inches that's for this um for the body of the bag so this one is going to um take the first body and also the the front and the back body of the bag so it's gonna be a you know a big bag and this is the bottom the measurement I took for the bottom is um, for the weight is 14 and a half that's 14.5 and for the length it is 7 I took 7 inches for the length of the bottom this is how the bag is going to look let me show you guys so this is how it's gonna look like this is how the bag is gonna look like i hope you guys can see it so guys um over here i have um the materials i'll be using you know for this project for this bag so i would um explain how I got the measurements as in how um, you know how I got the measurements for the bottom so so guys you know from here to this place is seven inches which means that uh, we're going to fold three and a half inches of leather hair and also three and a half inches of leather hair so this is where um, the two leathers will join we come together so if this place is three and a half, three and a half, and we said this place is 14 and a half, that's from here to this place, 14 and a half. We've already shaped this out. So by shaping this out, some of the inches has, you know, left the board. So we're going to be left with, um, so from here to this place, we're going to be up to 14 and a half. Guys, that is how we got the measurement of this bottom. So when you want to um, make um, a bag, if you want to make it for yourself, you just have to follow the pattern of this, you know, you have to indicate where the bottom of your bag will be and where the normal, um, where the front it's going to be. Guys, I'll be showing you guys uh, materials used for this project. Actually, I've already um, wrapped this with my. Um, this is called padding. I've, I made I made use of this padding in, one, in my previous um, video, guys. Um, I was already doing this, and I just felt like, oh, I would like to. Uh, you know, I would love you guys to. Um, I would love to share my knowledge with you guys, so you guys can know how to also make this. Um, big lovely tote bag guys um, 
this is padding so um padding is just to you, you, you can just use it for a light material like this you can see this is a synthetic material it's a you know a, it's light material so i just need this padding to make it you know look um a bit thick guys um i left some i left like um some inches out here so i'm gonna be using i'm gonna be joining this to the bottom of the bag by using um by using this pipe here i'll be using this pipe for the bag so this bag now comes with um comes in two which is the front and the back um part of um the bag this is the bottom of the bag basically i am padding everything up to make it look um to make it stand to make it stand right to make it stand so this is the leather itself you can see how soft it is it's not thick at all so what i'm gonna be doing is to apply my gum here apply my gum here then glue them together and also guys i will be making so two different letters for this job because i want it to be um, a bit colorful so i'll be using two different letters so this is another synthetic letter it's a lead um the color is red so i'm gonna be using this with this um i don't know if this is alligator or snake <laughs> animal skin material yeah so this is the handle of the bag. This is gonna be the handle. So this I'll be sewing this to the um to the bag. And also this is gonna be um the it's gonna be holding the um cord, this pipe. So I'm just gonna put it at its center and then you know wrap it like this and stitch. And this is going to be at the tip of the bag. This red material here, it's I'll be swinging it at the tip of the bag. And this is gonna be like a design. I'm just gonna put this like a design like this to the bag. I guess I'm gonna love this bag when I throw this so. I'm not going to be using any zip or any magnets. I'll be making use of this hook here. So this hook is going to be like this. It will be the one to hold the bag. I'll be making use of this. Um, can't remember the name. But let me just show you guys. I don't know. I can't remember um, the name. Like. Um, when i'm using it i'm gonna be showing you guys so this is what i'll be using i'll be making making use of this to hold to hold my leather i'm gonna be using it to hold my leather oh no i'm not gonna use it i'm just gonna use this i'll be using this alone yeah i'll be using it to hold this leather to the bag guys um now the next thing for me to do now is to take this and then gum them together guys i've applied my gum um to the leather and also to um to the padding so i'm just gonna you know gum them together guys um now i've gummed them together so the next thing i'm just gonna do right now is to put my cord you know to put the cord which i'm doing right now to put it um you know with the material but before then i will have to gum the two handles together um guys um this is the handle so for um and i'm gonna use two for one handle then two for the you know for the second handle so now what i'm doing is to you know apply my gum to it now 
Now I'm just gonna, you know, gum them together. I'm gonna gum the two undos together to make it one. So, um, you know, while doing that, you need to be, you know, very careful. You need to make sure that, um, you know, they're staying on top of each other. After sewing it, I'm still going to stitch them together. Guys, I'm almost true, you know, gumming them. Guys, I'm true now. I'm true gumming the uh, and together. So I'm just going to stitch it now. Just stitch it round. Guys, I'm taking the measurement of where um, my undo is going to be. So. I'm um, just gonna, you know, take the measurements before stitching my under to it. So the measurement I'm gonna be using now is um, for the length. I'll be making use of 3.5 for the length. That's three and a half. Then for the width. I'm gonna be using six inches for the width of the bag where my handle it's gonna be so where I'll be marking that is where I'll be you know fixing the handle I'm just gonna use a little bit gum to put them together then stitch guys this is it I'm through with one you guys can see the outcome so I'm just gonna go back and you know stitch the second part of the undo to my bag I'm through with them guys they are lovely beautiful you guys can see that this is so so beautiful the next thing I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm just gonna apply I didn't take measurements for that I just you know bring it out to the shape that I want you know I'm just gonna glue that together and I'm just gonna it's just like uh, uh, then I'm just gonna sew it to um, my bag the measurement is I'm taking half inch out which I'm gonna be sewing inside then I'll just take um, three inches so where the three inches ends that's where i'm gonna you know sew that too so the length of it is two two inches so i'm just gonna put um i'm just gonna put that there it's just like a like a um just to make the to beautify the bag so i'm just gonna stitch them together you guys can see it lovely i'm done stitching that now the next thing i'm gonna be doing is to fix the bottom of my bag i'm just gonna sew guys i'm through with the piping of the bottom now i'm just gonna sew the piping of the bottom with the main body together guys trust me before doing that of course I've, i i actually notch the middle of the bag now i'm sewing the two sides of the bag i'm sewing the two sides of of the bag i'm making right now guys don't forget whenever you're doing anything with a um, particular bag and you have to join 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 you have to notch them make sure you notch the middle of it guys i'm using my cylinder arms to sew the bottom together both the bottom and the main body I'm using it to um, stitch my back together right now you have to be careful make sure you're not sewing on top of your piping I don't know if it's called piping or pipe <laughs> make sure you're not sewing on top of it right so you just have to be careful make sure you're sewing at the right place so that when you throw it your job it comes out neat and beautiful Guys, I'm true sewing them. Can you see how beautiful it is? I'm true sewing it. 
I'm just sewing the bottom and the you know the body so guys the next thing I'm just gonna be doing right now is to apply gum to the leather board the leather board is, is the same measurement with the bottom so I'm just gonna take that inside you know I want it to sit well because I'll be using a bottom stored so I just want it to sit well I want it to be firm so that is why I'm gonna be you know putting the leather board guys this is the lock that I'm gonna be using the lock I'm gonna be using for the bag so I'm just gonna use a hook you know guys um, you can see how beautiful the bag it's already coming out guys so what I'm gonna do right now is I've already notched the center so I'm just gonna you know put a little bit gum then put the lock there this is um this is the lining the inner lining I'll be making use of so the measurement for the inner line is the same pattern that I showed you from the beginning I'm just gonna add a little bit inch inches to it to make it you know a little bit longer than the way it is guys I'm gonna be you know taking a measurement for darts because I'm gonna be using another so um <laughs> the weight is two while the length is 1.5 so I'm just gonna you know give it a shape and then you know just sew it together so guys um, same thing applicable to everything then after that I'm just gonna cut it out just cut out the exact place where I measured I'm just gonna cut it out you know on both um, lining then after that I'm just gonna stitch them before then I want to do the pocket of you know of the pockets you know the pocket is gonna be sewn to the lining so the width is six and a half while the length is um, nine inches so I just you know took the um, leather board a little bit shorter you know shorter than the leather so this is the um this is eight and a half this will be more bigger and you know than the other ones so the length is nine inches the leather board is um seven and a half and uh, you know it's the leather board is just gonna be at the center it's not gonna be much so so guys um i'm just gonna glue the leather board oh sorry i'm just gonna glue my padding to the leather so after gluing that together then i'm just gonna oh basically all i'll be doing with this pocket is to fold in you know fold in um you know i don't want any edges outside so i'm just gonna fold them fold everything in apply gum to the other side you know apply gum to it and then you know fold the leather on top of you know on the um, padding the main reason I'm using padding for my pocket I want it to look um, I don't want it to be too light I want it to you know to look beautiful guys you can see I'm true folding everything so the next thing I'm just gonna do right now is to you know sew the pocket to um, to my lining this is already looking beautiful you guys can see I'm true you know stitching them together um, so the next thing I'm just gonna be doing right now is to you know sew everything together I'm just gonna bring everything together and then stitch them guys I'm just gonna stitch it like that so I'm true you know stitching them I'm just gonna stitch the um, edges like that guys 
I'm applying gum, um, you know, to the edge of the lining. I'm just gonna fold them together. So guys, um, now I'm, you know, attaching um, the chain, the fancy chain to the bag, to the hook, you know, I'm just gonna use my plier to hold them together to close the I'm just gonna close the um, the chain by using the plier which I've done already it's the same thing applicable to this to the other side guys I folded the lining already so I'm just turning it you know turning it inside out so, <laughs> yeah I guess so guys um the next thing I'm gonna be doing right now is to um, you know put um, the bottom stud I'm gonna take the measurement for the bottom stud and also I'm just gonna you know put my logo there so I'll be using two inches for the width and for the um, length I'm just gonna use one inch I'm gonna be using one inch so same thing applicable to the rest I'm gonna be using same measurements for you know for the bottom store guys I'm um, putting my bottom stored I've already pointed it all so I'm just putting my bottom stored now it's time for me to put my beautiful logo to it so i'm just gonna use that to trace it and then mark it out then punch it and you know put my logo inside of um you know of the bag guys um what i'm gonna do there is to hold it with my leather bird you know to make it firm guys you guys can see how beautiful this look it's really really beautiful um i'm just gonna put gum there apply gum all round of it which i've done and then you know i've attached my lining to it now the next thing for me to do is to put the hook where you know i told you like i told you guys i've i've already notched the center and i've already put the hook i'm just gonna you know stitch that you know just to make it old guys I've done that already so so guys um, what I'm gonna be doing is to tape it round applied gum to it already so and I've already applied gum to the um, tips too so I'm just gonna use that to you know to glue them round then after that then I'm just gonna stitch everything together so guys this is the um, end of today's tutorial and guys this is my first time making this bag I like to exploit I like to do new things thanks for um, watching guys please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to share my videos thank you very much for your big support thank you guys god bless you and i love you all